Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, Hefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. Whoever's behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. La Plaga's response to the attacks proved he did not understand that the most basic function of a drug trafficking organization is to make money. What does your father do? He's a Alcon. A lookout? See. Si. He hasn't been doing his job, has he? I don't know. Killing innocent people does not help you. Just the opposite. It alienates the people you need most. It sends them into the arms of your enemies. Who is really your brother? Tu carnal? The man you grew up with? Fought with? Bled with? Grew rich with? Or some guy whose mother got fucked by your father? La Plaga has gone too far. You know what you must do. I thought it was only fair to let Del Muro take care of his little brother. He would do it quickly, mercifully. Nothing like what I saw in the videos. I am not my brother's keeper. That's the Bible. That's God. Run. El Mudo chose to go against the word of God. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Francisco Ricardo Munguia. El Muro. The wall. The wall between me and my enemies. The wall between me and death. We were born hours apart in the same village. As boys, we were as poor as the rats that scrambled across our dirt floor. Our huts in the shadows of the hilltop mansions, where the narco bosses lived like conquerors. El Muro took a different path. He joined the army. Special forces. He rose through the ranks, helped to protect the local narcos, was paid in cocaine and money along with promotions. When we met again, Francisco, hermano, 
Why are you still in the army? You and me together, we could rule. We will protect each other, as we did when we were boys. We will share, like brothers. <laughs>